Greetings and salutations, fellow garage people. Today I'm working on a project for a guy who, uh, I think uh, he found me when I was trying to sell the Celica over the summer. Uh, and he's trying to do a similar swap in his Celica that I did in mine, where you swap the 1ZZ FE engine for a 2ZZG engine. Um, it's a pretty common swap, I guess, in the Celica and the um, Celica community, and the, I think there's a, the Lotus community uh, where they swap this engine in. Anyway, um, the, the 1ZZ comes with a 5-speed, the 2ZZ comes with a 6-speed, so a lot of guys will get a whole drivetrain and or they'll buy a wreck GTS, put it in a GT, whatever. I came across a, a GT that was, uh, or it was a GTS, I'm, no, it was a GT, and the guy had had a GTS, and it got wrecked, so we pulled the engine out, I was gonna put it, do the swap and everything, but this car was automatic, I have no interest in that whatsoever, so, um, the GT he had was a five-speed, but the GTS he had was automatic. Anyway, I bought the GT and the GTS engine, and did the swap, whatever. Well, this guy contacted me, and he's been asking me about doing the swap, and I've been trying to help him out here and there, you know, give him little tips and tricks and stuff, what I did with my swap. But one of the things you have to do is to swap the wiring harness over. And what I ran into and what this guy ran into was that um, people who, um, well, I'll, I'll save my opinion. They cut the wiring harness on the GTS, so both, both my car and the car he got. So you have to fix that. So what... I don't know if a lot of people know this or not in the Celica community. I only got hooked up with the Celica community because I bought that, um, the car that I did and did the swap on. Um, but what I learned uh, is that there's actually only three wires that are different between the GTS harness and the GT harness. Now that some of the lengths of the wires might be a little different, different the locations um, are slightly different, um, but the GTS, the GT harness will work on a GTS if you change over those three wires. And those three wires basically activate the uh, the lift system uh, within the Yamaha head. And uh, there's two wires. And the third wire is an oil pressure sensor that measures oil pressure for the lift. So um, if you're looking at a GTS harness and it happens to be cut, if you go to the harness, the there's two little ground wires that bolt on the back of the cylinder head, and then there's a blue. Let's see, let's see what color the connectors are. There's a black connector here with a blue and white wire and a blue and black wire. Those activate the lift, and then there's a gray wire that has a gray connector and that is the oil pressure switch so you can see gray wire gray connector so I figure this video would be kind of informative for whoever might be looking to do this or it might be informative for somebody who's not into Celicas and maybe they're trying to figure out their harness so what I've got so far is the GTS harness which was cut this is the harness I got it laid out so they cut it. See all these wires? They cut all this stuff. And then I have a GT harness that is pretty complete. So I'm basically going to swap these three wires from the GTS harness, which they don't actually go to the part that was cut. They go to this little bundle here, which goes to the engine computer. Uh, and so they're intact on the GTS harness. I'm gonna take them out of the GTS harness and put them in the GT harness. So you can see this little bundle here is what goes to the engine control module on the, this would have been the GTS car. That's what this harness came out of. And here's my three wires. I've got down to this. It's pretty simple to strip the harness to this point, it's just uh, electrical taped around every so often, and then wire loom and then taped again. The only difference is, is where 
The ECM is located on these Celicas, they're in like a box. And it's a weatherproof box. And it has this, I don't know what this stuff is. It's, it's like a dip, almost like a, like a plastic dip or something that they, they put the wires in. And it peels off okay, but it's kind of a pain to get this started. But once you get it started peeling, it does pretty good. You see, I've already got those wires out. And then I, I don't want to destroy this boot. This boot's probably, probably irreplaceable. I'm not going to cut it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the plug. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is the plug. There's your blue and black and blue and white wires. And then there is the gray one. So I, I have access to the uh, the wiring diagrams and the and the pinouts and all that. But if, if you don't, and you're in this situation also, you can just snap a quick picture and you can see where these wires will go on the GT harness. Now, this plug's pretty easy to take apart, get the pins out. It's not all that difficult, but it is a little bit of a process. So you can see I got the wires all the way out of the old, of the GTS harness. And then this is the GT harness. Now, they both have these two ground wires with this connector next to it, both harnesses. You can see on the, if I show you on the GTS harness here, two ground wires and a connector. So you can see right here is where the, there's three wires, the lift actuation connector and then the oil pressure sensor for the lift splits off right here in the harness. So I'm gonna to go to the GT harness and split those two wires off at the same spot. So they're gonna go on here. Here, there it is, right by the coil. It's right here. So we're gonna take these. Connectors are somewhat close. We're gonna take them, and mount them around, about right like that. Eventually, we're gonna get there. First, we gotta strip this harness from here all the way down, down here. I got the three wires run most of the way. I'm gonna tape this joint up here, but I got them in the connector, run through the boot, and then wherever there's a corner, I got the wires taped up to the harness all the way to where it splits off. You can see there's the connector for the lift solenoid and then the oil pressure sensor. And then I'll go ahead and tape up uh, certain spots of this. There's certain spots that'll get wire loomed. And uh, I'll show you guys the finished product when I get done. All right, guys, look like we got this done. All ready for pickup. Again, we got our Lift actuator wires. This is our oil pressure switch. Add it in here to the harness through this boot. Got it all taped up. Got our tubing on. Comes this way, this way, and then there's those two ground wires that go on the back of the cylinder head. And then there's our connector for the lift solenoid and the oil pressure switch, all done. To recap, I took a Celica, let's see, that was a 2004 Celica GT harness uh, for a 1ZZ FE engine and converted it to a, and that's manual transmission. There is a difference between manual and automatic. Converted that to a manual transmission 2ZZ GE harness. And again, there's only three wires. Uh, two that control the solenoid for the lift and one that is the oil pressure sensor for the lift system. Uh, for manual transmission cars, that is the only difference in the wiring harness. Uh, it's really super easy to convert over, but it's completely unnecessary if people didn't cut the wiring harness when they removed it from the car. What's really weird is that there's only like two or three more connectors 
that you actually have to take off. Let me see if I can find them on here. So on the harness that we used, uh, this is the end that was cut off the GTS harness. So if you, if you see the GTS car harness was cut right here. Well, there's three connectors there. There's two connectors here and then this one there. And they go to the um, fuse box. I don't know why anybody's cutting anything because literally all you gotta do is take the fuse box loose and unplug it. So I guess people are lazy. But anyway, that's what I did to convert those harnesses from a GT, Celica GT manual transmission harness to a Celica GTS manual transmission harness. Anyway, thanks guys. I'll come up with something else here soon.